WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Continue to see those clear skies still hanging over us here in the Inner Harbor, so temperatures still around the 70s, but we have some northwesterly winds making their way in for us, and that's actually going to start to turn more towards the north, which is going to cool us down. So as we head into tonight, the, co the combination of the two northerly winds and clear skies is going to allow us to drop down into those low 40s for a much cooler kind of night. So when you wake up tomorrow, it is going to be a little bit chilly, but we do have sunshine. So despite the fact that we are cooling down, going out to vote, you may need a late sweater if you run cooler, but if you're standing outside and just enjoying the sun, it is going to be feeling still fantastic. Look at that. We'll have temperatures still going into the upper 50s by the time we get towards that two to three o'clock hour and even getting close to 60 degrees in the inner harbor Annapolis as well. A lot of us will be sitting quite around average for this time of year. So we say goodbye to all of that warm weather and this is all thanks to part of what's going on with Nicole and also a high pressure system sitting over top of us. So the combination of the two is allowing for winds to start shifting out of the north but then that changes up because subtropical storm Nicole starts to make its way towards the Atlantic coast of Florida and then we start to see the outer bands of cloud cover from it and then later on some rain showers towards West Virginia as we head into Friday. So that means we're expecting to see some rains out of it as it will track by us. So keep in mind that by the time we get into Friday and Saturday, it will start to clear on out through the mid Atlantic, meaning that we do see some scattered rain showers on Friday and then some isolated rain showers towards Saturday morning, meaning we could wake up to a soggy start to the weekend. And we are expecting to see a pretty big cool down as well in the next six to 10 days. So after that pesky system of Nicole moves through, we're going to really start to feel like we're in late fall yet again. So plenty of cooler temperatures yet again. And looking at our seven day forecast after all of that sunshine, we see that rain start to make its way in for us. Temperatures do at least warm up. So despite it being a bit on the cloudy and gloomy and even soggy side, we do have temperatures hanging around those upper 60s by Friday. We start to cool on down into Saturday and then take a look at Sunday and Monday. We're going to be barely topping out in the low 50 range, upper 40 range, despite all of the sunshine, as well as even possibly seeing our first 32 degrees at BWI. So it'll start to get chilly for us. All right.